Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Friends, here in this video, I will clear the concept of Charles Law with the help of this beautiful simulation. Using this simulation, I will explain you the basic concept behind Charles Law along with the definition of Charles Law. So, to understand Charles Law completely while playing with various parameters with the help of this interactive simulated experiment, watch this video lecture till the end. In the previous video, I have explained Boyle's law and in the next videos, I will cover Gay-Lussac's law and Avogadro's law. So don't forget to watch these videos. You can see the link of these uh, videos in the description of this video. So without wasting time, let's start the Charles law with its basic definition. So, according to Charles law, at constant pressure, the volume of an ideal gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. We can write it mathematically as V is directly proportional to T. Volume of the gas is directly proportional to temperature when pressure and number of moles that is mass of the gas is kept constant. Now I will explain you this Charles law with this simulation. According to Charles law we know that volume is directly proportional to temperature. But this happens under certain conditions. These conditions are pressure should remain constant and the number of molecules or you can say number of moles of the gas also should remain constant. So as I have already injected some molecules into this uh, container, so I am not going to change it. So number of molecules are kept constant and another parameter that has to be kept constant is pressure. So I will keep constant the pressure using this facility to hold constant any variable using this uh, I can uh, click on any parameter that will be held constant as according to Charles law volume is directly proportional to temperature to explain Charles law first I will vary the temperature and will show you how volume is changing in direct proportion and then I will change the volume of this container, volume of the gas and will show you how temperature is changing in direct proportion on keeping the pressure constant and also the number of moles or the number of particles are also kept constant. So let's start this experiment. Number of molecules are constant and another thing is pressure. So I will click on this pressure. Now pressure is held constant. Okay, this parameter which is showing the pressure, it will not change. Now I am going to rise the temperature by heating it. I can also cool it down. So I have two variations, heating and cooling. Now I will rise the temperature and observe that volume will increase. I will also tell you the basic concept behind this. First observe on increasing the temperature, volume is rising. Okay, and 3.6 atmospheric pressure is not changing. You see? no change in pressure but temperature has risen on decreasing the temperature the volume will also decrease you see temperature is decreasing 371 and volume is also decreasing 371 kelvin to 336 kelvin and volume has also decreased so they are in direct proportion okay if I increase the temperature, volume increases and on decreasing the temperature, volume also decreases. This is what the Charles law states. I am going to explain you the concept behind this, why this is happening, how the Charles law works. But before this, uh, let's uh, perform this experiment in another way. At this time, I will not vary the temperature. I will vary the volume and you will see how the temperature changes in direct proportion. You see pressure is held constant this time also pressure is held constant you will see no change in this pressure and number of molecules are also constant but you will see change in uh, the temperature so I am going to vary volume this time and on decreasing the volume this temperature will also decrease from 336 Kelvin okay pressure is held constant keep it in mind from 336 Kelvin on decreasing volume the temperature has decreased to 257 Kelvin on further decreasing the volume you see 198 Kelvin so they are in direct proportion if I increase the volume temperature will also increase from 198 Kelvin it has increased to 259 Kelvin and let's further increase it 
the temperature also increases to 374 Kelvin. So in this way we can understand that uh, volume is directly proportional to temperature. On increasing volume temperature increases in direct proportion and on decreasing volume temperature also decreases. But this has to be at constant pressure and constant number of molecules of the gas in the container. Now it's time to understand the basic concept that is lying behind the behind the Charles law. Why this is happening? Why temperature is rising on increasing the volume? Now for this you need to understand the concept of uh, pressure. What we mean by pressure? For this I will take help of this collision counter that has been given in this uh, simulation. Here this is the wall collision counter. If I click on this then it will tell you how many wall collisions are taking place. You see there are 28 wall collisions. Okay, Wall collisions means the these uh, particles are colliding with the walls interior walls of the container. So how many times they are colliding? They are colliding 28 times in a sample period of 10 picoseconds. Pico means 10 to the power minus 12. Okay, in this short period of time, they are colliding with the walls 28 times. If the number of collisions are increased, then the pressure is also increased. Now understand the Charles Law's concept. Actually, the pressure is defined as force divided by area. Okay, so if I increase the force, then pressure will increase and another way to rise the pressure is by decreasing the area. So on varying any parameter of or for force or area, I can vary the pressure. Now, according to Charles law, I have kept the pressure constant. Okay, so it means if I change the force, then the pressure will vary, try to vary. Or if I change the area, the internal area, area here is internal area of this container. Okay. So if I want to change the area, then also pressure will try to change. Okay. But I want to keep the pressure constant for, for the Charles law. Now, if I increase the temperature, you see here, uh, let's uh, change this. The pressure is held constant. If I increase the temperature, then what will happen? On increasing the temperature, you see the volume is rising. Okay, it is according to Charles law. But why it is happening? Because on increasing, as I increased the temperature, the kinetic energy of these molecules increased. And the force, the energy with which they were striking or colliding with the walls of the container also increased. That could result in increase in pressure. But to balance itself according to Charles law, since according to Charles law, pressure has to be constant. So the numerator, the force has increased. In numerator, we have force. In denominator, we have area, force by area. Since numerator has increased, so to keep it constant, to keep the pressure constant, area, the internal area has also to be increased. Okay. So for increasing the area, the volume has to increase. In that case, only pressure will remain constant. So they will increase in same proportion. So force will increase because of rise in temperature and area will also increase to maintain the pressure constant. If I decrease the temperature by cooling it down, you see temperature has decreased. So for this, the volume has also decreased. If volume decreases, then the internal area that is uh, on which they are colliding with the walls of the container also decreases. So they decrease in same proportion to keep the pressure constant. So ultimately pressure remains constant. If, if it has to be constant to obey the Charles law, the volume has to increase or decrease as per the increase or decrease in the temperature. So this is Charles law. You can see it another way also. If I increase the volume then temperature has to increase same concept the uh, volume increases means the area which is in denominator is increasing and to maintain that we need to increase the 
force with which they are striking so that the numerator and denominator can balance the pressure and pressure remains constant so on increasing the volume the area increases we are increasing the area so to compensate to balance to keep the pressure constant the parameter that is force has to also be increased so for increasing in force the nature automatically manages to increase the temperature so that they can increase the kinetic energy and can increase the force by which they are striking the walls so this is very interesting concept of charles law that it automatically adjusts to keep the pressure constant as we have we are keeping the pressure constant so accordingly on varying temperature or volume they are adjusting itself so i hope you understood the concept how the nature works how the physics laws works how they self adjust itself so friends this was all about the charles law i hope you liked the video if you really liked the video then please click on the like button and share this video with your friends and for more such videos and videos on gay lussac's law and avogadro's law don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel engineering made easy Thank you for watching this video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.